The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Thomas Pinckney was born on October 23, 1750 in Charleston, South Carolina, the son of indigo entrepreneur Eliza Lucas Pinckney and the younger brother of Charles Coatsworth Pinckney. At age three, his family moved to Great Britain, where he was educated at Westminster School and Christ Church, Oxford. Thomas Pinckney was actually known as the Little Radical when he was a young adult in England, and he spoke out against um, punitive British policies against the colonies. Even before he returned to South Carolina, his choice was already made to side with the position of the colonies. In 1774, on the verge of the American Revolution, he returned to Charleston, an ardent patriot. He was commissioned as a captain in the 1st South Carolina Regiment of the Continental Army in 1775 and was involved in multiple skirmishes and battles. He became an aide-de-camp to General Horatio Gates and was captured by the British at the Battle of Camden in 1780. At some point, he's on the field, either rallying the troops or marching with the troops. He's on his horse, and his left leg is shattered by a British musket ball. And he's actually saved by an old classmate, a British soldier who he went to Westminster School with, who recognizes him and takes him along with other wounded British prisoners. After recovering from his wounds, he was eventually released in a prisoner exchange and later went into battle again, this time under the command of Lafayette, in several campaigns in the colony of Virginia. During the Revolutionary War, he was elected a representative to the General Assembly, um, representing the parishes of St. Michael's and St. Philip's, which is really Charleston. After the war, Pinckney took up the family's lucrative business, running plantations throughout the region, and eventually, like most of his family, dedicated his life to politics. His brother and his cousin are serving at the Constitutional Convention. He's governor and, as governor, is president of the state convention to ratify the Constitution. In 1791, he served in the South Carolina House of Representatives. He was appointed by President George Washington to be the U.S. Minister to Great Britain in 1792. During that time, he was actually sent on another special mission to Spain to negotiate what's known as the Pinckney Treaty or the Treaty of San Lorenzo, which gave the United States access to the Port of New Orleans, which was crucial at the time. His success as a diplomat garnered him a nomination by the Federalist Party in the presidential election of 1796 as the running mate to presidential candidate John Adams. Although Adams won the presidential election, it was actually his opponent, Thomas Jefferson, who became vice president. The Constitution at the time stipulated that whoever had the most number of votes became president, the second greatest number of votes vice president, and the third greatest number of votes lost. In November 1797, Pinckney was elected to the United States House of Representatives and served till 1801. Upon the onset of the War of 1812, Pinckney served as a major general in the United States Army for the duration of the conflict. And his main concern and his efforts were focused on negotiation with the Creeks and fortifying the southeast coast, major cities like Charleston, Savannah. I think his political career and particularly his service as an early ambassador for the United States has to be held out as a major contribution of his life. The letters that um, we know that he wrote to his sister, his family, his close friends, really bring out um, a character who enjoyed the company of people. He had a wonderful sense of humor. Thomas Pinckney died in Charleston, South Carolina on November 2nd, 1828, and is buried in St. Philip's Churchyard. <laughs>